Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR. And I'm calling CQ for POTA Parks on the Air. I'm at Mammoth Cave National Park. And in the campground, no cellular or data access, so I'm relying on other people to spot me. And I did submit my activation to the POTA website and to the Facebook page. The CWT contest uh, just ended. There were a lot of guys on, and I didn't jump in. Maybe I should have jumped in. But boy, I heard a lot of them, so I think the band's in pretty good shape. I'm using the 7300 and an NFED half wave uh, up about 25 feet on the flagpole. One end's 25 the other is about 10 off the ground and this antenna has been working real good for me one new addition I got is this LBG tuner and let me tell you that thing will tune a it'll tune a uh, I don't know it'll tune, <laughs> tune a tin can I'll say that the uh, antenna I have on the back of the camper is the high Q antenna it's 580 a uh, five inch coil and uh, goes to 80 meters uh, down to 80 meters and uh, it got stuck at 80 meters because a dog uh, chewed my power cord going to it so I can't move the plunger up and down inside the antenna and so it's stuck on 80 meters but this tuner will tune it on 20 it'll tune it on a lot of bands but it's completely worthless uh, it just it's, it's a dummy load uh, just doesn't get out at all so uh, it's uh, just a good uh, educational opportunity for me to realize that uh, which I've known all along if you don't have a resonant antenna and you rely on an antenna tuner uh, if, if it's too far off even if the antenna tuner tunes it you're not going to get out or you're not going to get out very good oh there's somebody Using uh, N3FJP and getting used to this. Uh, running CW and it works really well. Okay, let me try that again. So he must have been somebody left over from the CWT contact uh, or the CWT test. But he didn't copy my part. I guess I should have warmed up a little bit before I made my first contact. I'm taking CWT or the CW Academy classes and they have a little sheet on there for warm up. Some things you can do to warm up when you're before you operate. 
and a good idea, but I didn't do it. So back to the equipment, I got the LDG antenna tuner, and I've been using this, uh, oh, there's somebody. Okay, well, getting back to it, uh, this uh, wind cure that I've been using, I changed some settings in it, and doggone it, I locked it up. I can't get it to work again, so I'll have to reset it or uh, check the firmware. I don't think there's any new firmware out, but I'll check it anyway, and then get it going again, because I really liked it. And uh, John, NQ4A, he's the one that gifted that to me, and I really do appreciate it. It's worked out great. Uh, it's fun to have and gives me the opportunity to do videos on it. Um, so I'm not using it right now. I've got the USB cable connected from the laptop to the computer. And I've got a, a CIV or CI5 cable connected. And I'm using it for rig control. And then the USB cable I use for CW keying. And it works real well with N3FJP. I haven't had any problems with it locking up. Uh, uh, so, yeah, it's, it seems to work. Uh, yesterday I was using the, the memory keyer on the radio, and it was a little uh, little difficult reaching over after I send the call sign, reaching over and punching the right uh, button on the screen. So today I'm going to use the software to, uh, to do that, to send the macros. Um, and it's real simple macros, the CQ, uh, reply, and then the, a thank you, 73. Um, so just those three. And I entered the call sign with my paddle. Now let's try this again. Move this a little bit closer and you can see the front of the 7300. Okay, well he's in Florida. Yeah, that's good. Well, I'll 
I'll take them one at a time. I'll show you what the screen looks like on the computer. Oop, there was a little pause in there. Okay, let me put the camera back. And uh, we'll keep trying. My brain, because of the stroke, sometimes I just draw a blank. I am getting better. And that's progress it, I'm, I'm doing a lot better than I was say two months ago and the CW Academy is helping and I've only been doing it about four weeks um, so but it is helping and I picked up some new ideas from it so uh, it's uh, it's improving I just like I said sometimes my brain just shuts off and I just don't pick up what what they're transmitting uh, a simple character uh, or simple word, and my 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 brain just goes blank. Uh, the guy that I'm taking the classes from, Hans, uh, he happens to be a physical therapist, so he knows about stroke victims, and he was telling me how the brain works too, and uh, how I'm building new paths, new pathways in my brain, and I just have to keep practicing. Uh, and in the class, you know, I think I'm doing uh, doing okay. I'm doing good. I'm able to con uh, copy 20 words a minute most of the time, <laughs> and I'm copying the words. I have trouble remembering, say, uh, three or four words uh, in a row, so I can jot those down. I'll, I'll jot down a name, or of course I'll jot down the call sign, and I jot down the QTH, and then I try to head, head copy the rest of the stuff. Uh, and like I said, sometimes it just doesn't work, but... I'm getting better at it, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So if you, you know, have a, have a stroke, I, I, re I recommend taking CW training classes. Uh, it may uh, it may improve your memory. Uh, I think it does. So let me get back to this. Yesterday on 40 meters, man, I, was, I had them coming at me. There was a pile up, and uh, I was able to uh, pull them out, and uh, uh, I think I did pretty good. I had 25 contacts, and it didn't take me long to get those, so uh, progress. Okay, let me end this video here. I really appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate you watching this video, and I hope uh, to hear you on the air sometime. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. 
Also tell your friends, a very 73 and good DX.